So here we have the main screen of Catalan Wikipedia and what we are going to do is to discover some of the most interesting projects related to multimedia content. The first of the Wikimedia multimedia projects uh, wasn't made by any affiliate but it was made by users that back then they weren't aligned uh, with uh, the affiliate, with the chapter the thematic organization and what they did basically was to enter YouTube and they discovered that there was a local television in Catalonia that uh, was sharing in, in their YouTube channel some of their footage, some of their archive footage, they were sharing it with um, with a proper license so basically uh, what uh, the uh, local television was doing was to release some of their archive footage into the uh, public domain or in, uh, with a compatible uh, uh, Creative Commons license and well it was footage uh, we are s watching here one video uh, it was recorded in 1991 so this is the kind of content that it's very difficult to to get but we could easily upload into Wikimedia Commons and then reuse on Catalan Wikipedia thanks to this project. The amount of content and the kind of um, materials uh, shared was um, varying. Themes covered were mainly related to popular culture. There were a lot of videos about, um, about music but there were quite a lot about football. So here we have, for instance, uh, how much match that was played in the um, in that municipality in the town of Cardedeu in Catalonia. And what we have here, it's a video from September 1984. What we have basically is uh, an interview with Johan Cruyff, who received a homage, uh, homage uh, on the on the town. So well, we can hear. Uh, the, the voice of Johan Cruyff. ¿Por qué has plegado el fútbol? Si aún tienes mucho fútbol en tus botas. El fútbol sí, eso va bien, pero también hay físico y también hay presiones. Y esas dos cosas me van me va peor. Te hemos visto jugar de libero esta, esta primera parte un mucho rato. Uh, ahí es un sitio mucho más tranquilo que de, de, de delantero centro, ¿verdad? No, pero he visto que un momento dado nos salíamos de medio y campo. Lo mejor es que me pongo un poco atrás para que con la pelota salimos un poco para animar a la gente un poco, ¿no? As I said before, this was a project where we leech uh, content from Catalan Media, although it was made by a Valencian user. And in 2015, I created this project called La Radio Giure, or the Free Radio Project. It began, um, let's say, that related to what we have previously seen. It was basically from Valencia and here taking uh, a source, Valencian Medias. Uh, the people leech uh, content from uh, those local media again, again local media, and once again uh, properly licen licensed. And what we got were interviews made by um, local people. Uh, there were people who were uh, professional journalists and who were interviewing uh, prominent people from the land of Valencia. And in 2015, as I say, they created the uh, Free Radio Project, although some of the uploads were made in 2014. And what changed in 2015 is it was that we started our own radio program. It was called La, La Represa. I was the host of that uh, radio show. And here the idea, it was born a little bit randomly because, uh, well, uh, back then I was in my mid-twenties and some of my friends, uh, they had the idea that we could host a, a radio show. And, well, uh, one of, the, of those people invited us to uh, start a radio show in the local station at his town, his hometown called Godella. What happened here is that I was already thinking in those terms, in the terms of the multimedia content for Wikipedia, and I thought it would be a great idea to have um, 
to have a radio show that was made thinking, you know, having us an uh, idea that the content was going to be released into the Wikipedia, into Catalan Wikipedia. And our main objective was to interview people. So we invited for a long time because the show is still running on the local station. So we have been doing that for five years because there was one hiatus year in the middle. And what we did basically was to interview prominent people from our region, from the land of Valencia. And what we made basically, it was to invite somebody who was going to be a prominent uh, personality from our region to take a picture to blow it into Wikimedia Commons and to illustrate our articles and we uploaded also the full interview to Commons. Another of the ideas that we had when designing the show it was that we didn't only want to have uh, let's say the, the interview that we were airing to the local stations But what we wanted to, it was to have available a um, caption that it could be used into the voice into project. Bueno, soy Manolo Mata, fill de Lola y de Manolo. Ella es de Alcida y él de Carcaicén. Yo vais a nacer de Valencia a finales del año 59 y soy poeta frustrado, pero advocado. So here we have a voice into project and basically uh, every one of our shows starts with the, the invited person, with the interviewee, making a, you know, a short presentation that it's basically the voice into project. Uh, he says his own name, his or her birth date and birthplace and uh, the occupation. So uh, of that way, we what we have achieved is to have a lot of entries into the, our, you, you know, into into the Catalan Wikipedia's uh, voice intro project. That is a very, very active one. That way, if we visit the Catalan Wikipedia's version of the voice intro project, what we can see is that, uh, well, we have achieved a lot of a lot of voices, we have uh, strong numbers. It started already in 2014, so of course I didn't invent it anything. You know that idea was made by, by Andy, by Pix on the Wing. And, well, uh, we have a lot of people who were uploading audios. And what happened in 2015, it was that, you know, every week we were uh, interviewing one prominent person, uh, one person who was, uh, whose biography was uh, admissible in Wikipedia. So we, we have had uh, strong numbers. We had already good numbers at the very beginning. You know, the English uh, Wikipedia alongside the, the Dutch and the Catalan have historically been the version of Wikipedia with the biggest numbers we, uh, when it comes to voice in the project and one of the um, one of the reasons that explains um, this agility is not only the special um, activism that the, our Catalan Wikipedia has but also the fact that uh, well I was meeting prominent people every um, every week so I was able to get a lot of uh, voice intro as you can see uh, both on, on this page and the previous one that I um, that I showed not every person has his Wikipedia article I mean to meet our show to agree to come with us that doesn't mean that you are going to get an, a Wikipedia article but it is true that uh, well we are in our design of how well the TV show should have been done we were thinking that not everyone was eligible to join our show even despite that we were doing it on a local station so our pool of uh, people eligible was small but the people that we wanted were people who were already prominent on their fields or at least important for our culture no? here we have Waldo Doliva this voice intro uh, I got it uh, on the street because I, I know him because I'm a big fan of this sport, but he is uh, the Valencian champion of um, one of the two modalities of the Jeu de Pomme that we play here, and he has been a champion for more than 10 times, so everyone is very, very relevant by its own, and as we can see, although we got, in this case, the voice uh, very recently, 
he has had an article for 15 years so there are people that of course they are relevant for Wikipedia when it comes to the voice into project but also when it comes to the collection of interviews uh, I, ma I must admit that we are not very not very up to date because we have released into um, into YouTube uh, with uh, proper free licenses Creative Commons we have released more than 150 radio shows which is great for us and we are very proud but we haven't uploaded yet everything into um, into Wikipedia so I'm always I always say that I am waiting for for the summer so I can get into the computer I have to have free time and I can put myself up to date and and to release everything into Wikimedia Commons or uh, everything that has already been released uh, we have the kind collaboration, the kind partnership of the uh, town hall of Godella, which is the town that allows to use their their infrastructure and uh, and to use their local radio. But we have never received any money to to do this, uh, which is perfectly aligned with uh, with our philosophy of editing Wikipedia. We don't receive anything for when we are editing Wikipedia, but we do it because we want to share and to share in our languages because we all know that uh, well we. Every one of us, each of us, we live in, in environments where are other languages and perhaps those languages that have some more speakers, they have also more, they are more attractive for, for some people. So, mm, well, uh, this is also a project idea of the radio. It was that if we had a multimedia content in our Wikipedia, that will make our language editions m far more attractive. Because you know, uh, to to translate a radio show or to translate a video, as we have seen previously, it's it's not so easy. It's difficult. So, well, the con the multimedia content, let's say that it's exclusive to our language version, and also that's not strong in in the Catalan context, although it happens somehow in the Valencian context, and I, I believe it might be very relevant to other minorities language we all know that there is there is population in in our societies that know to speak the language that know the language that perhaps our language is is their first language but they don't know how to write it so for them for that people perhaps to read in i don't know russian spanish or, or any other majority language is easier because they have studied that language but if we include uh, multimedia content in the in our Wikipedia versions, perhaps they are not very comfortable reading their own language because, uh, unfortunately, they never had a chance to learn how to read it. But they might appreciate that we have multimedia content that speaks to them in their language. Another important uh, multimedia content project was made for the Wiktionary and it was made in partnership with the Language Normalization Institution in, in Catalonia, that is the institution that uh, keeps, uh, that tries to strengthen our language, that as we all know it's in a minoritization situation. and. It was related to multimedia content and language, but it wasn't oral language, but visual language. Here what we have is the Catalan language sign, which is different from the Valencian one. And what we got released, as we can see here, the author is the, the general direction of uh, political language in the Catalan government. What uh, they are releasing is the way that uh, word is... Uh, is said in the sign of uh, in the language of signs, and it was a very very important project too. Another of the multimedia content projects that we have done was the Valencian dubbing contest. Uh, this needs a little bit uh, of explanation. As you all know, when it comes to translating uh, movies or TV series, etc., there are two options. You can subtitle it, uh, you can use subtitles, and you can use voice actors who impersonate um, the original voices into the uh, into the local language. So, in the Spanish context, let's say that it's the usual thing is to use uh, voice acting. Everything is dubbed into Spanish. So when the first uh, Catalan language television started in the in the 80s, 
both the Catalan television and the Valencian television that use different um, different accents. Uh, the uh, the natural choice was to also uh, have a voice acting. So let's say that in our context, it's not so normal to have sub uh, subtitles in when it comes to material made in foreign languages. So you know, because of that influence of what we have always received in in Spanish, what we have is that uh, well. We have a lot of content of uh, when it comes to international movies or international TV series that is is dubbed into our language. So what we made here it was a contest, an edition contest where people edited about fiction, about uh, movies like The Godfather, Karate Kid, TV series as Bugs Bunny, Asterix, uh, Asterix, the comics, Doctor Slum, uh, Woody Allen. Uh, and we made a, a contest. People only had to edit those articles, and the weird thing was that we had the voice of those actors, those voice actors, who impersonated the fictitious characters. Uh, basically, this was possible because, well, I, I knew some of the people. We also partnered with a, a website that is specialized in the Valencian uh, in the Valencian Catalan language adapt versions which is not the which are not the same versions than the Catalan regular ones the like ones made in Barcelona and what we had was this of course this is in our own language it's, in, it's, it's the Catalan voice but as I said before they are actors and the impersonation the impersonations are very recognizable. Even if you don't speak Catalan, you can recognize that this is Vito Corleone in the Godfather movie. As I said before, the voices are very recognizable. This is Vito Corleone. Of course, it's not Marlon Brando. We can get Marlon Brando back. And, well, I don't know if there are any Wikimedians who have access to... Um, you know the Hollywood artists and are able to have their voices released but well I had access to the, the people who made the voice I ¿Saben aquel que digo dos señores de edad están en un club de vacances y luna le digo a la otra el menjar de este loco es realmente repugnante y la otra le digo sí ya me estén donando muy poco As I said I had access to the people who makes the voice acting in Catalan Indeed, in the Valencian version of the Catalan dubbings, because uh, as I said, there are several uh, dubbings in, in our language. So, well, we had those uh, contents. We were able to release that content. This is what I, um, I released. I, I, I released that before the, the contest started. And then we invited the people to edit. Uh, well, we had uh, a lot of, of acting. We have also um, the voices of some cartoons, anime characters, we have uh, Sh uh, Shin Chan, Shin Shugen Ohara, Captain Planet, I don't know if, uh, if this is a very famous show. Soc la unión del sin poderes. Soc el capitán planeta. Perhaps it's not very popular in your regions, but it was in, in our language, it was very, very popular. And, well, we have a lot of voices. Salula, observa todas estas teules reduidas a pols. <laughs> Mira, da si un mino. This is Mr. Saidan from Dragon Ball. We have also Shin Chan. We have a lot of voices. April O'Neil from the Ninja Turtles. Well, it was. Even we had some clips that had more than one actor. Indeed, the the one who is doing here of Shin Chan father is also the the same voice actor who made Woody Allen. And well, to have everything fit into the copyright, it wasn't easy at all. The clips that we have released are very short. Uh, I believe that none of the clips is longer than 10 seconds. We had to, you know, to release a lot of ORTS uh, documents because we needed, you know, the approval of the voice actor who recorded uh, the voice. We needed also the okay of the director of the dubbing studio who fortunately most of them were also voice actors and they agreed with our project 
and well when it comes to bloating it was very chaotic you can see that there are um, there are um, clips that appear without um, an audio actually we had the, the audios I mean if we go back to let's say Mr. Miyagi we can see that here in our, our info box we have the voice of Mr. Miyagi in Valencian language we can hear once Yo again es la meua this is a very recognizable tu clip from the movie voice actor is the very same that made Vito Corleone he's from the town my mother was born he's a very kind person who not only released the the audios but he was also interviewed for our radio show and well as I said before on the templates don't appear all the audios we have because when it come when it came the time of uploading them it was a chaos and unfortunately some of the files were deleted then I had to resend again the RTRS uh, it was very stressful when it comes to dealing with Wikimedia Commons but even despite all, all the problems uh, we did it I mean we had we had uh, you know the voice actors with us they were perfectly they were perfectly aware of what were we doing they agreed they liked our idea so well I had to prove a lot of things I had to to prove that I actually had the uh, permission the access to the all those uh, artists but we did it we did it and well we had here a small um, small interesting ideas that are somehow exclusive to our language because of course uh, the, the Catalan language dubbed, dubbed the audio is only relevant for our Catalan Wikipedia so that's the little extra that we had and, and I believe it's beautiful the last of the projects is currently ongoing and it was made uh, for the 20th of April the 23rd of April which is the day of the book here in in the Catalan-speaking territories, and it was called the Voice Donors. This is a this is an activity that it was made by the Uni Open University of Catalonia, and it was arranged by more than thirty entities. Uh, Michael Wikimedia is not the organizer, but uh, it's a core the organizer of of this project. And uh, you know, people from thirty entities, thirty different entities. They had as an objective to release free audiobooks in wiki in Wikisource, which is the third of the projects that w will receive some multimedia content. So here it's a very ambitious objective. The organizers talk about 100 people reading 100 books, 100 works in public domain, classical works of the Catalan uh, literature and then releasing them into Wikimedia Commons to be used in, in Wikisource. We can check here uh, how the project is going. We have here the, um, you know, the table where everything is being uh, organized and well, there are, um, we had a lot of uh, volunteers to read words, but uh, there are still a lot of blanks here and uh, what we have is uh, you know we have more audios than people doing the editing or uploading the content uh, I recently offered myself to edit some of the audios although I believe that um, that you know it will be very difficult but even even those difficulties uh, finding people uh, we can see how how it's going he ha we have here a book a uh, book uh, made by Maria Vaireda and it was published uh, 120 years ago almost in 1904 and well we have here the book La Puñalada it's a regular um, it's a regular book as uh, most of the books that we have on Wikisource when if we click to the first chapter we will see nothing weird everything is as, as usual this is just a regular book on Wikisource anything weird until we go to the to the end of the of the article because at the end of the article we will see something new if we check the bottom of the article what we can find is that we have a small template here and it says what it says this is a sound version of the chapter of the book that it's written by one volunteer 
and it says also that the origin of this record is the um, the project that we are discovering. So if we click, we will Aquest see. This is an enregistrement de domini public per al LibriVox punt on. How the authors say that this is a public domain recording that it's going to be released or that it was released into LibriVox, which is an external website that uh, we can check how the uh, website works. It's an acoustical liberation of books in the public domain. This is also a multilingual project. Here we have the, the very same novel that we had in, in Wikisource. And here we have, you know, every section with the, the chapters. Just as this is on LibriVox, we had also the same recording, you know, integrated into, uh, into our project, into Wikisource. Esperança. Me creia en bona correspondència amb la Coralí, la rombosa molinera de Balasc i de molt temps que tenia escollit la plaça. So basically what we have here is an audiobook, something very popular. Um, sometimes it has been more popular, sometimes it has been less popular. But uh, well, we have a perfectly perfectly functional a uh, working, perfectly working audiobook and uh, we have it integrated into Wikisource. Of course, the, um, the origin of the audio is Wikimedia Commons, and we don't only have that on Wikimedia Commons, we have also another project with their uh, own community that, you know, they are partnering with 30 organizations from Catalonia, uh, most uh, lang uh, organizations, um, you know, that defend the language, that are worried about the future of the language, etc. And well, all those communities, the Open University of Catalonia, etc., partner to create this new project that it's ongoing right now, and that I hope that soon we can have some results so we can share those results. Perhaps I won't be the one who will be sharing those results because I'm not, I'm not very involved into the project. I will um, help them to edit the audios because it seems that there are mm, there are some problems with that. But, well, I'm sure that uh, some of the organizations will be happy to share the conclusions once, once we have those.